know, don't ask again. CTM, you know the answer is no. For everybody who's uh, new here, like this person has been banned before and has just made a new account. So I'm not being a dick <laughs> to a first time request. It is uh, a thing. Yeah, because I'm not an idiot. You still doing a self portrait? What am I fighting with? What do you mean? No, I'm not doing the self-portrait today because I don't have the, the image that I prepared for it. It's on the iPad. Or not iPad, it's on the phone that I'm using right now. If I try to access it, it will delete it from you guys. GTFO Bozo. You try to do something? What? Saying no doesn't mean you're being a dick unless you're saying no to beats. Exactly. Bears, beats, bears, stronger, last I'm here, I'm here for that, Dwight. Okay, so actually what we're gonna be doing right now, let me just change the angle, this light is trash. We had such great lighting earlier. Okay, better. Look at that, look how crazy that is. We just turn it a little bit. Um, yeah. That's cursed and I love it. Nice. So I found this in the trash. I say this all the time, don't I? Look what I got from the trash. I found this <laughs> this painting in the trash. Um, and I'm like, free canvas. I got a bunch of them like that where people t took out their their art and they got rid of it. But, um, cause I was just gonna redo all of them. But this one, I kind of love the alien. So we're going to paint over it, <laughs> right? But we're, we're gonna keep the alien head. We're gonna paint over the rest of it. I don't know why somebody would throw this out. I'm thinking about painting it black all the way around the alien. And then I, I do kind of like the focus stripes that come in here. Um, so maybe using some masking tape to um, do like gold lines coming in. Yeah, a space doobie. And this will be a collaboration between me and a stranger I've never met. <laughs> I wrote the principles off his door. It is kind of a vibe, right? I'm digging him. Is that my 420 Martian? How do you have that? Yeah, it does kind of look like an LSD painting. This alien's high as hell. <laughs> but I'm like, oh man, I actually love this. I can't believe somebody got rid of it. So we're gonna, we're gonna paint with it. So it'll be fun. I found a bunch more, but I didn't like the actual stuff that they put on it. So this was the only one where I was like, yeah, this alien with the doobie. Doobie, uh, a doobie vibing with it. You know? Some lotion. No, it's not lotion. It's, it's paint. <laughs> no lotion, only paint. Yeah, so we're just going to paint him like one of our French girls. Paint the alien like one of our French girls. Normally, I would have another camera behind me so that you guys could see me painting, but uh, alas, while well, the computer is in the the pokey, will not be able to. So just amuse your imagination. I'll show it to you periodically. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? That's where we are right now. Um, what was on the other ones? Oh, just some, like, boring purple landscapes. Stuff like that. Slide your door over and we'll see it in the reflection. Oh, that's- oh my god, Sersha, you're so fucking smart. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. It's the claw! Once had a mental breakdown and spray dealer all over one of my paintings. I don't know. I'm here for it, though. Have you ever accidentally locked yourself out? Of this place? No. Of other places? Hell yeah. I have done that a lot. All right, so let me, what was I, wait, 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 what was I grabbing? What were we grabbing? I was gonna pull this too, but also I was trying to get something else. Fuck. I should 
also take this and throw it away while I'm at it. Um, what is it I was gonna grab? You're a classic man. I was gonna grab a paintbrush. I got one of them. Uh, water. Oh, that's a good idea though, Mia. That I should get that. More titanium white. I do have titanium white. Titanium white. Shit, I don't know. I knew I drowned once. That was fun. Oh man, I almost drowned once too. I'm trying to save my little sister from drowning. <laughs> oh, the other painting. The other painting, maybe. can't entirely see it close enough this is one of the other paintings i found in the trash but i do i do kind of like this up here so maybe i'll keep this part and just get rid of the rest and then there's two of these i think they went to like a paint night or something because there's two of these and they have different initials on them but I don't like any of this, so I will probably paint over the entire thing. And then this one. <laughs> I wasn't snooping around my trash or their trash. It was at the, the public dumpster. You like that one? Oh, you want it? <laughs> you want it, Sarah? There's two of them, they're exactly the same. Um, when I was small, I'll hold my brother underwater and have my brother hold me down because I want to see how long I would last. Oh my god. When I was a kid, we would do that thing where you would press each other's, you would cross your arms, cross your chest, and then press each other's chest to see how long it would take you to pass out. So, I was also stupid as a kid. Why are you, yeah. you like the second one? I would have donated these before throwing them out. I know, I think the people around here are just rich and lazy. Same thing for like the the bean bag. I think they just didn't want to move it. Like they're just moving and they're just like, fuck this. I don't want to move that into my next place or whatever. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. And that bums me out, man. But also I'm like, sick, thanks. I will be recycling this. I'm gonna start doing dumpster diving streams again. Do it! Almost drowned out the pool when my aunt by marriage took us there. After we left, I got extra ice cream and I stared at the said, Don't you tell your dad. I <laughs> see that. Nice! We Scottish boy, are you pan? I love the pan flag. Well, I don't love the yellow, but I, I like the one that you have. It's a much nicer yellow than they normally are. Hello, Absolute Hero San. How are you doing? Is it hard to paint over the acrylic? Not really. So you can see the texture still, but I like texture in paintings. <clears throat> Whew. Um, did you paint all these? No, I did not paint these. I found these at the dumpster. Some stranger got rid of them and I was like, what? You're going home with me. I am a robot. Negative, I am a human meat popsicle. Oh, sorry, not human. Negative, I am a meat popsicle. Um, as an artist, I usually throw my stuff out before donating because I don't want to inflict my art on mistakes on others. No, give them, take them uh, to the, to, 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 like, to a donation place, man. I love picking up other people's art. I've gotten a lot of art like that in my house. And gifts for people, like, it's dope. 
Because, like, just because something isn't your taste doesn't mean it won't be somebody else's taste. Kind of like how you might not be attracted to you. Like, right? So you're like, oh, no, man, I don't feel attracted. But that's because you're not necessarily your type. But just because you're not your type doesn't mean you're not somebody else's type. Right? So you might not love that art, but somebody else will. Like how I didn't like that one painting, but Sersha totally does. Me not liking it doesn't mean it's not a good painting. It means it's not meant for me. So you just didn't create art for you. It was meant for somebody else. Oh man, now I'm kind of sad I didn't just like do a, a dry brush over it. I kind of like how that looked. That Martian is going to outer space. He's high as foot. Hey, you're smart move. Thanks for the fun. How you doing? Yeah, I'm behind. I'm catching up. Yeah, I went to go and get some stuff and people get talking. <laughs> um... You just quoted one of my favorite movies. Ah, <laughs> nice. I love Fifth Element. Would you consider yourself as thick? Genuine question. Um, I don't think I'm thick. Necessarily. Like, I'm curvy. But, like, I'm not, like, thick. That would be sick, though, if I was. Love the Martian at Goodwill. Put 420 on it. That would be fucking hilarious. I legit go easy, but I don't have a donation stack around. Yeah. I also have a donation stack in my house. I need to take some of them off. I mean, they're not my paintings or anything like that. Those I hoard the mostly. But I do need to take... I need to go to the mail this week, the post office, and send off Chi-Town Geek's painting. I didn't make it this week, so I gotta do it this next week. You're rather thin, tiny even. Thank you! Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm, I mean like, sometimes people use thick to mean like curvy. Like, I do have an hourglass shape. But I, I, uh, do got an itty bitty waist. Well, thank you. Thank me to your dealer. <laughs> Scooby, that's so funny. <laughs> oh. We should name it that. This should be the name of the painting. Guys, remind me. This one is called Take Me to Your Dealer. <laughs> oh my god, that's great, Scoob. Um, you are considered thick to me. Thank you for the stand twirl. Much appreciated. No problem, brah. I appreciate you, guys. Yeah. Alright, I'm getting the sides of this. This little mofo done. Looking good. Almost looks like it's got whiskers around it. Right? He does have a sick name. Alright. It's coming along. And he really is, like, going to outer space now. Like, there's... It's gonna be, like, some more space thing stuff. I feel like this alien's name is Steve. I don't know why. Just feels right. You know? Do you ever wear long dresses to show your hourglass figure? Long dresses? No, I'm only five foot two. Long dresses tend to just make me look even shorter. If you look up, left, right, down. <laughs> look up left right right down up right down. yeah he's gonna unlock something with the konami cheat code you get infinite money very funny i got dinner and i get to eat in my room because my head hurts oh nice you like the chirping birds right it's really nice except when it's early in the morning and then i get really pissed off that there's birds i'm just like no i failed to going to sleep again Steve's have that shape head. They really do. Hey, Nevi, how are you doing, babe? I am painting today. <laughs> do you want to see what it is? <laughs> I think it's sweetie. We are up now, right? Um, what are the stripping birds? I have them in mass. I don't know what these birds are. I can't see them. They're just making noises. I love birds and wildlife, especially in the house. I wish I had squirrels. You sending yourself kisses, Nev? <laughs> That always cracks me up about the thread function, where it doesn't do it to the last person in the thread, it does it to the first person in it, and it always looks like we're talking to ourselves. Okay, so I found this in the trash, right? I found a bunch of art at the, um, the dumpster 
in my apartment complex. Not in the dumpster, but next to the dumpster. Yeah, I'm so short. Neb's short too. Hey, Dr. Doom. So this had like a patchwork quilt looking print around it that somebody made. Um, and I didn't like that part, but I really loved this alien. So I decided to keep him. Oh, there we go. I decided to keep him. So we're going to paint it black around him. And then I think we're going to put, use masking tape and gold paint or gold acrylic ink um, to do like rays coming out from him. So yeah, that's the plan for right now. It's hilarious. Your drink is icy. Yas. It's hot out and it's a rum and coke. I already had two coffees. Thank you, thank you. It's a collaboration with me and Complete Strangers. I'm gonna do a bunch of them. So like, this one, I also found. This gives you kind of a sense of what the rest of this painting looks like. But I love this thing right here. Like that's totally my aesthetic. So I'm gonna keep that part and maybe finish out the, the red and black up there. This might be watercolor right there. Um, it doesn't feel like acrylic, this part. It just feels different from the rest of it. Um, yeah, and so I'll leave that part there, and then we'll do something else to the rest of this. Um, there's also this one, although I kind of like it, but I don't know what it's supposed to be. It looks vaguely familiar. Um, and then this one, there's two that look just like this, but I don't like these at all. I'm so sorry, Sersha loves these. Um, but I, I don't like either of them. So, yeah. I was just gonna uh, probably totally paint over that. Cause you know canvases are expensive. Art supplies are expensive, so I'm just like sick. Free canvases in the trash. Art in the trash. Birds no longer exist. Birds, yes, birds aren't real. I feel like there's a big story behind him throwing those away next to the dumpster not in it. Um, I honestly think this was a girl. I think this was a girl that made this. Based on all the other art that was there. Um, this your balcony looks pretty nice, spacious. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, this is my patio. I'll show you. This is my guitar. I put new strings on the um, acoustic. Um, and you see, it's my patio. So that wood over there, those pallets. Um, I'm gonna be doing some woodworking projects with them. I got all those from the trash too. Just like these tables, also from the trash. I'm gonna sand them and uh, restain them. Everything. I'm quite excited. And then when I leave, when I move out, I'll just get rid of these fucking tables. If I find better tables, I will get rid of these then too. Because I don't love the um, aesthetic of them. But they're solid wood. So, they're good tables. But you guys can see now why I was so tired yesterday. Because um, I've been carrying giant things of wood up to my apartment a lot recently. not an alien it's a meth head no a grinch like alien you seem to like paintings look like someone took lsd before they took them no i mean i didn't grab these because i liked them i grabbed them because i wanted free canvases and acrylic is pretty easy to paint over top of so i was just like sick because i went and bought fresh canvases to do art with you guys recently and it was fucking expensive i even got them on sale um, but it was expensive. So I'm just like, you know what? It's fine. I repaint over my old art all the time. So this will be fine. Yeah. Paul's like, I'm just doing like a detailed edge right here around its head. I'm gonna get the rest of that red out. There we go. Um, say to Colorado's flag. Oh, is it? Looks like a video game thing. <laughs> I think you're joking because it's got a heart in the middle of it. I swear to God, I have to put green onions on everything I would do it. It's Pac-Man. I don't think it's Pac-Man. No, it's not Pac-Man, but it's close. That's a Colorado flag. It's got a heart in the middle. The Colorado flag has a heart in the middle. Girls nowadays wear skin tight clothing to show their figure. Do you do this also? Uh, yeah. If I feel like it, I do whatever the fuck I want. I'm an adult. 
Uh, I was gonna ask about the pallets. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna build furniture out of them. I love building furniture. But my ex kept all the furniture that I made before, except for the, um, the desk that I stream on. I made that specifically to my height requirement, so it doesn't pull on my lumbar spine or anything, because the measurements for ergonomic desks made in the United States are based on studies of uh, the average male body. So that is why a lot of them are just way too high for women. Um, and it's not ergonomic for us. So, I ordered the legs and stuff on Amazon. They're mid-century modern chrome planted hairpin legs. So they match like the chair that I'm sitting in right now that I got at a, um, an antique shop in Lockhart, Texas. And um, then I got a maple plank from Lowe's that is my size too. Um, it's uh, two and a half feet by four feet. So I can actually take the legs off when I move and carry that shit with me. So I can carry the board or the desk myself to move in and out of places. Um, and then it's stained like a maple type color, which is not my normal vibe. I'm normally like more of an espresso mahogany person, but um, mid-century modern is more maple. Thanks, bud, y'all. I appreciate it. The tables are nice. Yeah, they're pretty nice tables. They just need um, the tops of them refinished, pretty much. Like, it's... It'll be really easy to do. So I am stoked about that part. Okay, I'm just putting the finishing touches on there. You will get the bump. I've actually never seen a wooden balcony floors. It's Here it's only concrete. Oh, man, that's wild. That's cool, though. The y'alls are concrete. You know, in in Texas, I do think most of mine were concrete, but I do really like the, the wooden ones too. I've got to be careful not to get splinters sometimes, but I'm like, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Okay, trying to get a steady hand here to do this alien's head. I don't know if I can. I don't know if my hand's that steady. Nobody let me do surgery on you. Okay. Just, you know, pro tip. Pro tip, don't let me do surgery on you. No matter how much I beg, no matter how good I claim, I will try to be at it. Like, believe me, I will do my best, but it's probably inadvisable to let me which is the same thing I tell boyfriends about cutting their hair. I'm like, you know what? No matter what, don't let me cut your hair. No matter how excited I get about it, you will regret it. I don't have that skill set. I don't know how Janine does it. She's a freaking master at it. But I am not, I suck. Okay, sorry guys. I'll be returning to chat here in just a second. Oh, okay. I just had to get really close to the alien face. I didn't want to fuck it up. Okay, I think we got most of it. So let's start on the other one because this one is already pretty much drying. Um, but we still have a bunch more black paint. Okay, so there's that part. It's primed. Prime, sit him down. Um, I lied. I'm in apartment balconies. Houses are different. Oh, gotcha. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I'm in an apartment. This is why I do digital art. Man, I love getting just covered in paint. I call it being an art goblin. The last time I did this with you guys, I woke up the next morning and flipped the blanket down, and I was just covered on my thighs and everything. My hands. Janine laughed so hard when she came out of the room. She was just like, what the fuck happened to you? And I was like, girl, I got too drunk being an art goblin. All right, here's the before. Oh, I should have taken pictures of this, shouldn't I have? Oops. <laughs> Color flag with heart metal because the person who made it probably loves Colorado. Oh, that makes sense. Thanks, dude. I liked it. It looked like a video game thing. But like... Yeah. 
And maybe Colorado should make that their flag. Like with the, the heart. The yellow circle in the middle of the sea, not a heart, but yeah, it's Colorado flag. Aw, I love it. Thanks, guys. I make my desk out of a butcher block countertop with Amazon steel legs. Hell yeah. I'm here for that too, man. I love making furniture. It's so fun to do woodworking. I fucking love it. But I don't have any power tools here. I don't want to buy any. Like aside from the power drill. Because then I would have to move it wherever I go. And that shit's heavy. Um, so I think I'm just going to do hand tools. Like Leroy Jethro Gibbs and NCIS. Gonna get a hand planer and a hand saw and shit. Do the shit from scratch. Miss Independent, Miss Science Fiction, Miss Keep Your Distance. <laughs> so, yeah, I should probably, speaking of Miss Independent, I should probably do my oil change, check all the fluids in my car tomorrow. It's time. It's time, it's time. I'm not quite due for an oil change. I've got like 3,000 miles left, I think, before that, but I. Uh, should probably add more oil. It's probably time. You just have one in my garage right now staring at it. Nice. That's baller, bro. I hope you're not put off my question. I like your style. I think you're cute. That's why I ask. Gotcha. Oh, thank you so much for asking about my style and the compliment. <gasps> There's the siren. It's our daily siren, you guys. We almost got to the end of the day without hearing one. Never change, DC. I varnish it so much, my game computer now has one. Then take a keyhole saw blade and make the wire holes. Bro, that's baller. I've thought about drilling holes in mine for the, um, the, the whatchamacallit, to mount the, the SM7B, because it has the, uh, the roadie mount for it. You can either clamp it or drill a hole and use that one. But then I'm like, what if I just change my mind about where I want the hole to be? What if I sit on the wrong side of it? Uh, so I overthink that, obviously. Quite clearly. Um, yeah, we're finishing furniture. Don't threaten me with a good time. Yeah, I just got to go to Lowe's so that we can do that. I meant to do it today and I slept in too late and everything and totally forgot. Actually, I just spent too long reading Stargate fan fiction and totally forgot. That's the truth. <laughs> I was in bed, but I wasn't sleeping. I was just reading like feel good stories. So yeah, my bad. Can you amputate your everything? Done. I, don't, I told you, don't let me talk. Don't let me talk you into it. No, you don't want that. Only if I turn it into a table. I didn't see any makes on your Instagram. So you're saying I have a chance. Any males. Oh, no, I'm not dating. But also, I am pansexual. So. There's that. Maybe I'm just conceited. What about that? Maybe there's just nobody else on my Instagram because I'm only about me. <laughs> Maybe that should be a red flag instead. <laughs> You're super good at cutting hair? Hell yeah. Why are you trying to cut hair with a wrench, though? Tommy. I'm, I'm doing a doubt right now. How could you say that you're good at cutting hair and then use a wrench there? That seems like maybe I shouldn't trust you on that. Miss on a fade, miss on the Mali. Um, you're gonna go now? It's nice meeting you too, Angelus Mormu. You have a wonderful night, dude. What advice would you give to live in and not die in LA? I've never been to LA. I did talk to Thomas today though, so I'm getting my plane ticket to go to San Jose. Do you know the way to San Jose? Um, for next month, San, San, San Jose, San Francisco, something like that. I gotta look at the, <laughs> the message again. But yeah, California, California knows how to party. California, 
What happened with your thighs? Oh, oh, I got covered in paint. I smell like beef. Shark doesn't shower, confirmed. Word, we finished at like three o'clock in the morning and I was just like, I'm going to bed like this. We got the next morning and Janine's like, let's go to the museum. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Cause she's like, yeah, I made us um, a reservation at the museum. And if you're not there on time, they will not let you in. So we wanted the Smithsonian and stuff and I was like, fuck. So I just took makeup wipes and took them to my thighs. Yeah, I'm a goblin, you know. Hey, donkey one punch. How you doing? Thank you for the follow, absolute hero son. Um, yeah, it was paint. Use me as a hammer. <laughs> Great. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. I got an electric planer off Amazon for like 30 bucks. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe I'll get an electric planer. Because those are smaller and more handheld. I'm just not prepared to get, like, a table saw, you know? You have a cement mixer? Baller. So fucking cool. Hey, to therapy. How you doing? Would be rude to ask your age. No, I'm 33. On the, uh, outside. Like, if you cut the rings open and you count them, or cut me open and count the rings, then they would say I'm 33. But, in, in here, I'm 70 four cars I'm always changing oil bro yeah I would change the oil myself but my car is so low to the ground you cannot climb under it which on the one hand is great because if you want to steal my catalytic converter you're gonna have to work for it son there are much easier catalytic converters to steal and so most people are not gonna bother with mine because <laughs> you'd have to put that sucker up on blocks and everything to do that it ain't worth it but, uh, yeah. Other than that. So, yeah, pretty easy. Yes, we used all of it. That's what I was hoping for. Ay, ay, ay. I think, ah! I painted my drink. Shh, I'm gonna drink it anyway. I'm a goblin. You're a guitar. We make our own band. Nobody knows the name of our band yet. Is it Billy Wraith Cyrus? A goth country band. Um, I mean, it's about $300 disc, but seriously, go buy one cheaper and better. Yeah, bro. Exactly. Like, that's the thing about building your own furniture. It's sick. Well, the price of lumber has gone way up this year. It is nuts. I watched a TikTok about it the other day, where this guy went into Home Depot every month for a year, every week or so for a year, and checked it. And you can, like, just see it going up and up and up and up. I was like, holy fuck. Like, when I built my desk it was not that bad that but that was like 2019 so like it's bananas that's why i'm just like scavenging um pallets from the trash either way it's a brand i was shocked too but the truth will get out she's 304 i know right i'm so old i don't do any social media but i do watch twitch fair enough man hey sure shot keep your head up Last time I was in LA, it was like a war zone, shooting all night long. Long Beach, oof. Sucks, that's like what the border is like in Texas. Think about it, everyone be shouting, hey, I love your brand. Hey, Layer Cake 420, ayo. Oh, Layer Cake 420, you'll probably like this painting. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, 3 Layer G. What's the saying, age is just a number, hey. What's your skincare routine? You look really nice for a 70 girly. Thank you so much, Kakoya. So I um, wash my face twice a day, um, and then I put a ton of lotion on it. Aveeno, Bailey moisturizing, nothing fancy. I do have Clark's Botanicals, which is expensive. It's like $85 for a container, but I get that deep moisture mask off of um, Poshmark or Mercari, usually for about $35. Don't pay full price for this shit, buy it online. Um, and that's amazing, and I'll use that like once or twice a week. Um, I will do a mud mask and an exfoliant like once a week each. Never do a mud mask and an exfoliant within two days of each other. You need to wait at least two days in between those, or it will mess you up. Mud masks dry out your face too, so you probably shouldn't put it over your whole face unless you've been like really oily lately. Um, just put it on the oily parts of your face, wherever that is for you, because everybody has different types of skin. So I do like here. I get it mostly in my nose and my my forehead and then a little bit around my chin 
Um, but the exfoliant I do everywhere. And uh, yeah, I usually do it um, the exfoliant when I'm in the bathtub too. After been in the the a warm bath or shower for you know do it for like 10 minutes and it'll essentially the steam opens up your pores and stuff and then you scrub it and get it out and then after you get out you put the um, moisturizer on it yeah and if you guys don't want to be doing that like all of the face washing and stuff like you just do it twice a day in the morning and at night because um, think about like rolling around in your pillow and stuff all night you're just like rubbing dirt and oil back in there it's clogging your pores that's why you gotta do it in the morning um, you can use the makeup wipes like what I use they're like baby wipes um, and you can get a pack of like 120 of them for five bucks at TJ Maxx or Marshalls so you just wipe your face with it one in the morning one at night when my vibrating because I bounce all the time like my my knees bounce I got ADD man uh, but yeah <laughs> it's so funny Thanks, Arisha. <laughs> I was joking. Um, yeah, so that is, that's what I use, if you guys are interested in that. Um, yeah, but thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's a skincare routine, so it does it. I've still got wrinkles and stuff. Like, you can't see them. Well, I've got expression lines, you see them? They're just not as obvious on stream and stuff with the lighting. And then I've got laugh lines. So I like to laugh. I do it a lot. So that's just uh, it's fine. The rest of my skin looks fine. I want to be a thumber. I don't know what that is. I should repair my deck last year. Going to cost thirty percent more this summer. Ooh, if I'm so sorry. Look for wood alternatives like particle board. Yas, queen, yas. Um. Yeah, mostly I'm just looking for trash <laughs> where it's free. Nev, I even got like a whole um, twin size bed that's made out of wood from the trash. Somebody had taken it apart enough to get it downstairs and put it down there. And there's nothing wrong with the wood. So I went ahead and grabbed it. That's what those long boards are actually over there. So there's two pallets, those long boards. I'm not doing anything with the chair. <laughs> just where we were hanging. Um, and then right there or two more things of wood I got there, and there's another pallet and the headboard and footboard of that bed in my house. So I'm just gonna take this shit apart, it's held together by screws, and then um, saw them down, use them for a bookshelf or something. One second, I'm having a, a brainstorm thought. Okay. Um. No problem, Kokoya. Wow, and I can barely cut my nails. Yeah, that's why I recommend the face wipes, especially if you have like teenagers and stuff who are not prone to want to do that, or like dudes. J just use the wipe your face down with the thing. Roll, just pull it out like a baby wipe. Wipe your face down. Slap some lotion on there, and then you're good to go. I also don't go out in the sun a lot. And when I do, I have sunblock, like lots of it, and a special one for my face. <laughs> Seriously, I thought I was 24. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, some girl I met yesterday, uh, my new friend, Ty, she thought I was 25. Because she was like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm old. And I was like, girl, me too. I was so excited. I was like, I'm 33. And she was like, what? I thought you were like 25. I'm 30. <laughs> I thought I was old. And I was like, mm -mm. I am the old one now. Use a clay mask with Dead Sea Minerals. Honestly, it smells and feels amazing. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I also have a body scrub that I use. Um... And it's amazing. Uh, my leg was bouncing too. Exactly. I don't realize it most of the time. My mom used to fuss me, fuss at me about it a lot. And she'd reach over and she'd go and like put her hand on my knee. So I would hold still. And then, you know, I would stop because I'm like, oh, okay. And then I would be paying attention and it would start again. I just can't help it. Um. You actually got ADHD? I thought you were twitching. Yeah, I got ADD, man. Um, all he's talking about, yeah. Where, why are all the hornies out tonight? I don't know. Everybody getting a bonking tonight. I have a friend that started a business at the start of the pandemic, building decks, nonstop work. Can't imagine how much that would cost in material, though. Right, bro? It, oh, my God. I bet it's fucking expensive. But, also, all these people at home during the pandemic? 
Yeah, and going stir crazy needing to be outside. I'm really glad that for most of the pandemic, I was um, at Janine's house and stuff, like where we were out in the country and I could just go hiking all the time. That was bomb. Nonstop during spring and summer, I should clarify. Oh, right, yay winter. I mean, if he's working that much during the spring and summer and you just take the winter off. Like dudes, P-Hub is free, go there, right? That's for free. Sometimes you savor an emotional connection, don't ask. <laughs> if I ever build another deck, I'm going to use that composite wood, wood chips and colored polymer, no warping, no staining. I get that. Look at me, I'm the old one now. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Christopher Slatchel, how you doing? I did a Trix deck two summers ago, wasn't hard and looked great. Mm. Women get younger as they age, it's a gift. Yes, we're gonna go for Benjamin Button. What the fuck are we doing outside the cave? I know, Hannibal, what the fuck are we doing outside the cave? We're outside painting and getting some sun. My laptop is in um, the laptop hospital, homie. So we can't do a lot of the stuff that we regularly do. So if any of you guys try to use channel points to redeem music and stuff, it won't work right now. I'll refund all the channel points. Don't worry about it. They said I should get the laptop back Thursday or Friday. So that's why we haven't done the bathtub stream yet because I'm having to do this from my phone and you guys are like that big, like the the words. So I wouldn't be able to see chat. So we had to postpone it. I appreciate y'all's patience. The screen totally died on it. It just winked out completely, won't come back. So yeah, that's what the fuck we're doing out here. We'll go back inside here in a little bit as it gets too dark, but we're also painting. Look at this alien. I found- I didn't make the alien. I found this in the trash, and the only part I liked was the alien. So we painted black around it, we're waiting for it to dry, and then we're gonna do, like, probably masking tape with, like, gold, um, gold acrylic ink or something around it. This one, I also only liked part of it, which was that in the upper right-hand corner. So we're gonna keep that part, and, uh, the rest of it's gonna be black for right now. I don't know what we're gonna put on the rest of it. Maybe a string pull flower. I am kind of feeling that, like right here. Might be pretty. Uh, but yeah, how you doing, Hannibal? How you doing, dead baby seal? Easy, nah, just get a uh, 120 tooth saw blade and the special screws. Our place, the Joyce, though. Yeah. Uh, what up, Verzi? We're painting, bruh. And um, talking about some plans we have for carpentry projects on stream. Unless you're born for July 1967, I beg to differ. Oh, no, I mean, like, I know a lot of times when people are like, oh, I'm old. Like, they mean it. Like, I am old. And uh, it's like an existential thing. And they're looking for compliments. I'm like, oh, no, you look young. You're fine. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't actually think 33 is old. Um... A lot of my best friends have been in their 70s since I was like five years old. So, it's fine. I am like 70 on the inside, but it's I'm not, It's not something I'm self-conscious about or anything like that. I want to apologize for my behavior. She's very beautiful, and I couldn't contain it. I will stop now. Thank you, Absolute Hero Son. I appreciate the, the apology. And, uh, and yeah, I appreciate that. I hope you're doing good. Um, on the new saw blades. Sun. Gross. I know, right? But it's it's getting dark out. Christopher's flatulence. So, you know, we'll have to turn in the turn on the Christmas lights. The laptop hospital, what happened? The screen just went <laughs> totally dead. So I don't know what happened, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Who am I kidding? <laughs> Aw, thanks, Ryan Lover. <gasps> thanks, Hannibal, for the 300 bits. I appreciate you. Yeah, it should be back um, by the end of the week. So, yeah, but I, I troubleshot it and then took it in yesterday. So, we just gotta wait it out. I appreciate you. I wanna finish Visage. I'm at 96% completion. I need to reach completion. <laughs> If you do it for someone else, use 60, 80 on a circle saw. Oh, 120 on a miter. Gosh, this is ludicrous. Move, 
bitch, get out the way. So I'm like, <laughs> I know, right? But it's, it's going down. I'm gonna use a miter shawl. Noise. Hello, Ryan lover. Thank you for the posture trick. Oh, my lats are so sore from the gym or from the swim. Thank you, layer cake. I see you. Today's chores and you are enjoying it. Nice. Sometimes chores days can be really enjoyable and you get a lot done. Can you show us what you're wearing? Ryan, this is what I'm wearing. Shorts. And a tank top with a um, flat shirt. It says I'm gay-ish. Yeah. It's Pride Month and, uh, you know, pansexual. So <laughs> here you go. I like the boys and the girls and everyone else. Everyone's hot. That's what this outfit says. Sheesh, in 33. Nice. I have back pain. I'm officially old. Bro, I've had back pain since I was like 20. Tired. 30 seems old to your 30s. Now I can't wait to be 40s. Right? I'm aging into my personality. It's great. I'll always be an old soul. My actual age is catching up. Yeah. 70. Don't I look great for 70? It's not managing expectations, you guys. Not continual, continuous. Never gone away since. Oof. I can't spell what I was diagnosed without looking it up. Oh, man, that sucks. I'm so sorry. Does that mean you can't work with a laptop or are you using your phone? Um, I have my other laptop that I'm going to try to work from, but it doesn't have the CPU for streaming. So earlier, Mia and I were um, talking to each other on Discord video chat, and um, when I was doing that, my computer like would not let me screen share with her at the same time that I was uh, broadcasting my face. And it wasn't an internet issue, it's the CPU, because that laptop's from 2015. Um, so it's having a lot of problems, so we can't stream from it. So I'll be still working and typing from that laptop, but I will, might very well be using my phone as the video camera um, for the Google Meet I'll be in. I feel like I just started figuring out life when I was 30, right? 304. Um, don't we all need to reach completion, right? Thank you, Freddie. The Daisy Dukes you wore yesterday were nice. Thanks, Reverse Eon. I love those shorts. They're so comfy. Um, everyone's hot in the summer. Y'all. It's hot in the summer. I'm boiling alive. It gets too damn fucking hot and I can't stand the fucking heat. I'd probably rather be too hot than too cold, honestly. <laughs> Never say sorry to nobody. Be a queen. <laughs> no, no. I hate the heat. Gonna be over 100 where I'm at next week. Bro, you literally just said you're not comment about her body. I know. Some people gotta learn lessons the hard way, man. I tell you what. Okay, I've gotta pee again. I'll be right back. You'd rather be too cold? I totally get that. You okay? Yeah, I'm just bouncing. Everybody thinks it's like nervous energy or something. I'm not nervous. I'm not cold. It's ADD, man. I've just always been a bouncy person. Doing good, civil salads. How you doing? Okay, I'm gonna go pee. I'm gonna plug in the lights. I'll be, be right back. I will do it. I will do it. Exactly. I just bounce all the time. Oh no, I appreciate you checking on me. But no, I'm totally fine. Totally, totally fine. Ugh.
I have gone to pee so many times. But I'm back. We have all of eternity to be too hot. Eh. We got bouncy personality, can the bouncy boobs. Yes, because I also have had so much coffee today. So much coffee. Um. And I appreciate you checking Maddie, the sweetie, you. Cood purple lights. Thanks, that's the stream room. That's where we're normally at. So that, uh, it's just like behind me. See the parchments? I can't stand the heat, it makes me want to murder people. No, you're like a hornet. My high school speech therapist actually taught me to tap my feet and such to manage my excess energy. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I'm doing is just managing excess energy. I got a lot of it. <laughs> um, so I just, I just bounce all the time. And people are like, what the hell, why are you doing that? And I'm like, I don't know how you're holding still. How do humans do that? I mean, I am also human. Her, her, her. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, wait. Okay. I've got so much shit in here. Red. But I like the brick red better. Where is that? That is orange. I have so many things in here, you guys. So, so many. Um, sun is setting fast. Time for shark after dark. Hey, girl. Yes. Um, they're coming right for us. Indeed. It is time for shark after dark. <laughs> it is what it is. Good night, Leo. It's going 10 20. Good night. Sleep tired and pleasant dreams to you. Here's a wish and a kiss. May all your dreams come true. And though we fuck, fucked it up already. Shall meet again. Adios, au revoir. A theater zain. There. Closer. Closer. Wait, if you're a shark and you wear a shark costume, does it mean you're wearing your own kind skin? Yeah, sharks are cannibals. <laughs> I see no problem with this. Want to have a tango dance? We can watch YouTube videos and learn together. I think it'll bring us close. No, thank you. I already know how to cha-cha and that's enough for me. Appreciate your interest. But I'll have to say no. No, 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 no. Yeah, maybe this is just really watered down. Uh, Alex, I've been meaning to ask you this. In all the times you've been around dead bodies, you haven't seen them move or seen any possible paranormal stuff around them. Just wondering. Um, no, I've never seen anything paranormal with them. Nope. Not at all. Uh, they don't, they, like, they move, but it's just because of the gases, and it's not anything that you can see with the naked eye. You can see it on time lapse over months and stuff as the bodies bloat, and so the arms and legs and stuff spread out from each other, and, uh, then settle back closer to each other again, but it's, uh, nothing like that. If you get all tangled up, just tango on. Oh, y'all. I'm here for it. Here we go. I'm just tightening up these lines and filling them in. Put it right here. With the, the red. I'm going to sleep. You have a wonderful night, Freddy. Sweet dreams, bruh. Hope you have a good one. There we go. Ha ha! Yes, there we go, we got it. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah. So I'm just grabbing through the rest of these. It just needs a little bit. Cause it, 
is coming across as being like watercolor. And I do love mixed media, but I don't like the matte look that this has on this particular one. So we'll go ahead and take that all the way over. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, dude! Oops, we're not getting. Yeah, no, okay, I think I'm good. I don't think I'm getting paint on me. For a second, I thought I was, but we're okay. That would just be a classic me move. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and the rest of that will be black, so that will be fine. Same here. And right here. But yeah, guys, I'm excited for all these new paintings. What are we gonna do with them? Well, I don't know. Same thing we do with the rest of them, just sit them in a corridor. What do other people do with their art? I'm pretty sure everybody else also just sits their paintings in a corner, right? That's not just me. That seems like just a regular artist thing to do, right? Paint all the things and then never do anything with them. sounds right right I don't know it's hard to know what to do with your paintings it's hard to decide what to do with your paintings really like I never know which walls I want to put them on or like which ones go where or how to organize them it's like making the paintings and doing something with them are two totally different skill sets These art pieces are gonna become famous and some motherfucker other is gonna see a small piece of their art in it. Right? It'd be fun. I wish. <laughs> Yoink my art now. <laughs> I want to apologize for acting a bit of bad boy. Shark's character and body is too much for my soul to comprehend. I'll behave from now on. Alright, that's what you said last time. Sertia might get you the band hammer. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Yoink that art. You know, I might have to actually. Uh oh. Paint over more of this. Fuck. Did I somehow make their art worse? Maybe. Should I have left it as it was? Probably. I always make things worse when I try to make them better. You know it's not the same as it was, as it was. You know it's not the same as it was. Here we go. And right across there, right across here. And right across there too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, don't blame women for your shitty behavior. That's some misogynistic horse shit. Just own your actions, bro. Like, if you're gonna be shitty, be honest about it. You know? Man up. Go home, get ahead, get ahead. Light speed and I don't want to talk about the way that it was. <laughs> uh. Yes, sometimes you do have to make things worse before they can get better. Like your mental health. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You know how it is. <laughs> We gotta laugh so we don't cry. Or cry, that's fine too. It's also quite healthy to cry. You do you. Let's 
make thinking things like clean your room or something like that. Shark, what do you think of the new Diablo? I like it alright so far, MacMD. I'm not fond of play to win models, but I, I haven't felt like I have to pay for anything yet. And that's what matters to me. Yeah, we're painting. I found this painting that somebody else made. And this is the only part I liked of it. So we painted the rest of it black. And now I am going over it and adding some more uh, strong color. The darkness comes. Comes for thee. Oops, got paint on my face. So it begins. Have you played it yet, Mick? I'm singing like clean your room. Yeah. Laughing cries internally. Right? Crying is a okay. Your eyes collect photons. Your retina convert that energy into electrical impulses to your brain. Your brain is the mechanism that's what do the information its peripherals send to it. Your eyes are blameless too. <laughs> So you're one of those people who keeps their Christmas lights up all year. Yep. Why well, put them up, take them down. Do you like compliments? Um, I am normally quite suspicious of people who give compliments because it usually means that they want something from you. I don't mind them from people I know though because typically like I know them well enough to understand they're just being nice. You know? Like, Sersha has been in here a long time, and we are bros, so I did not mind them from Sersha. But I'm not, like, a- I'm not easily swayed by compliments. That's what you mean? Why you never played the awful game before? Oh, gotcha. Oh, you're pretty well somewhere. Yeah, I did- I did see that. Nick, I'm not even worried about it, though. No, you're good, Graham. For years we had Christmas lights in the garage because it was the very best way to light the driveway. Hell yeah, I'm here for it. Christmas lights up all year round are dank as fuck. They really are. I like lights. Clearly. Um, I'm saying that a lot of times it's a, a manipulation tactic because somebody wants something from you. Whether that is to curry favor to, or get you to like them for some reason. I like honest compliments from people I trust. Because honestly, like, unless I know you and trust you, I don't really care about your opinion. You know? Not one way or the other. Can't break my heart, can't build me up. Neither way. Yeah. Like when my grad school professor told me I was an excellent osteologist, I was just like, oh my god, yes, this man is an expert and I value his opinion and I know him well. That was sick. It was a great compliment. Um, but yeah. When people are just like, you're pretty, or something like that, then I'm just like, okay. Thank you. If I don't know them. Um, I don't trust compliments. Usually have other intentions. Especially if it's about appearance. Exactly. I am broken. I mean, I think that we're just old and wise, Nev. Like, it would be nice if compliments were generally just meant to be nice, but I think that most of the time they're not. Not from strangers. You know? Like, I like to give my, fr my friends compliments. I'm just like, I love you, and you are a badass, and you're such a kind and generous person, and stuff like that, like, but those are, like, very specific comments to who they are as people. It's not just, hey, you're hot. Curry is amazing. I never tried curry before. I was going to try it, though. Nice. Uh, curry's good. No, I don't, uh, respond well to negging either. I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. Get to know me without the flattery. I like and respect that more. That's just me. 
Like if a dude negs me, I will automatically just be like, I never want to see you or talk to you again. It's also manipulative and I don't like or trust it. My ex did that shit. Learned my lesson. Um, my college roommate, oh yeah, I'm gonna leave him up. I'm curious about hack and slash games. Maybe try the Torchlight games, I already have that. Oh yeah, try Torchlight. I didn't enjoy Torchlight as much as Diablo, because I mean, I was looking for something that was like Diablo, and that's what everybody had said, was, hey, try Torchlight, it's like Diablo. Um, I like Path of Exile a lot better. Um, Torchlight, I didn't play Torchlight 1, I played Torchlight 2. And, um, I liked that there was a steampunk element that was cool and different. And I liked that there was, um, whatchamacallit with Torchlight, um, that there's a pet that would like take your shit into town so you didn't have to go, but I did not like that there was just like so many items, um, that, like so many drops and so much loot that collecting any type of unique set or anything like that just seemed totally pointless. So that part bummed me out, and that's largely why I stopped playing it. I also wasn't like enthralled by the plotline like I am for Diablo. Like Diablo, I've been playing it since I was nine, and I will still watch the cutscenes sometimes for D2 when I'm playing it. So that's just my thoughts on it, but a lot of people do love Torchlight, and I hope that you like it. It's always sick when we find that new thing that, like, sets our souls on fire. Okay. It's coming along, coming along. I don't want to be rude about it if I don't like it. No, it's totally fine if you don't like it. Like, and there's a lot of people who don't like it. I think that people can totally dislike something and express that without being rude. It, it, it's just like how you say it more so than like what you say honestly actually his little red eyes are perfect I'm just gonna have to eat the fact that I use too much red on this I gave you compliment please show boobas right I gave you compliment please touch pee pee sorry I'm back I had to perish real quick oh no what what do you think this is a lewd video game right you have a hot weenus See, I know I'm a luscious piece of man flesh, but endless over the top compliments are suspicious, right? Exactly. I don't trust compliments because my mind goes to they are sarcastic, patronizing, otherwise dishonest. But that is from trauma. Yeah, like, I, I got that one. Like, you are worthy of love, Maddie. There ain't nothing wrong with that. But I, I, get, I get that. It, like, just working your way out of it might take a little bit. But I find journaling helps a lot for that. Yeah, and that, that is hard to, to work on, but I believe in you. I think you can, you can do it. Nagging is a popular technique taught by pickup artists for males get laid. Absolutely. I don't fall for that shit, though. So, it's not successful with me. Could it be that compliment that you don't normally hear makes you defensive to when you hear it? No. It did get dark really quickly, right? Um, I like to compliment people. I try my best to make it about their actions. That's a really great way to do it, Meg. Uh, they worked when I was 20. When I was 20 and had a lot of uh, trauma related to uh, feeling like I needed to earn approval. They work on anxious... Um, attachment types that ain't me no more so that does not work i have done the work i think i have path of exile i'll give that a shot yeah i love that i like that one i like that one a lot i like to, the only thing about path of exile is like the skill tree is insane it's more like a spider web i like to give compliments when people look really nice and do something cool or if i just like them but i never do the intention of give me them toes <laughs> toes that's hilarious. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with, like, 
giving like a a, a well-intended compliment. It's just when people want something from it, or it's like, oh yeah, I'm perving on you. It's just like, ugh, God, why? Uh, compliments activate my bridge's yellow alert. I'll make it a silent one usually. Three compliments, especially those that are overflattering, inaccurate, or both, put me on red alert. Five, and I'm charging phasers and spacers <laughs> and scrotum torpedoes. Hell yeah. I feel that a pet peeve of mine is if I'm feeling down and I'm confiding a male friend. If they try to uplift your spirits to start complimenting your appearance when that wasn't the issue, it doesn't help. Yeah, that does not help. It's like, that is not helpful. Like, it irritates me too when it's just like, oh yeah, if you're like talking about something about your appearance and they're like, oh, you know, you're, I don't know what you're talking about. You look fine. And it's just like, I'm not asking to be told that I'm hot or that I'm wrong. I'm talking about a specific thing. You know? Like, why? Why are you doing that? Don't lie to me. I know when I'm chonky. If you could go back in time and give advice to your younger self, what would you tell her? Oh, God. Take the cat with you. That is what I would tell her. Um. Nope. Uh, that will catch you a ban. Absolute hero son said, please don't remove me or block me when I say this, but girls need to understand that they have a large chest or big booty and they wear clothing that reveals parts of it. They better expect to get compliments or positive comments from people about them. No. No. Keep your hands and your words to yourself. It's not an invitation, homie. We dress for us, not for you. And a lot of us are not even attracted to men. So, uh, yeah. Keep your inside thoughts on the inside. Don't uh, be blaming women for your own inability to keep your mouth fucking shut. We don't play those games. Those are your actions. Take accountability for them. I'm all about trying out new games and finding new genre I love. I've been playing a lot of point and click and calm games lately as a break from first person shooters. Nice. Yeah, I like to play Stardew Valley when I'm um, needing to chill. Also, do we have Christmas lights out even though it's June? I think it's fucking adorable. Thank you. I love the, um, the big, like, 80s bulbs. They make me so happy. It reminds me of, like, gremlins. <laughs> Yay, I'm glad you're getting better at it, Maddie. Did you deserve it? Thank you for banning them, Sarsha. Yeah, I figured, like, since I had to click on the message deleted that you'd already done it. Ugh, same wavelength. Yup, he got banned. Don't ban me, but... Bro, don't even finish the sentence. Woof, arf, bork. <laughs> yup. Those doggos are going crazy. They were going... Bah, 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 bah. So work... They work on hot 20-year-olds. Sounds good to me. Ew. Gross. Like, it's manipulative and it's shitty. Like, negging is just shitty. Uh, mind games are trash. People who play mind games are trash. I'm sorry you've had that experience. Yeah, bro, for real. Take the cat with you. That's what I would tell younger me too. Nice. Yep, he did. Bitty bitty bitty. They all get weird at some point. I mainly trust those in committed relationships and talk about their girlfriends. Yes, exactly. Yeah, because if they never talk about them, that's a red flag. Exactly. If you don't talk about your girl, that is a red flag you hit me up out of nowhere and tell me you're getting a divorce that's a red flag <laughs> i hate when men do that shit you go to add me back on facebook after i haven't seen you in a while and you uh are no longer in a relationship or whatever that's a red flag get away from me get away from me uh yeah no hard hard fucking same when me and my ex broke up a lot of of friends that I had at the time like while I was still in the grieving process were like inviting me into their polycules which I don't do and uh coming on to me men women etc and um I just felt like I didn't have friends I just had like a bunch of people waiting to fuck me which felt really weird because I did not view myself as being attractive 
so I was just like, what the fuck? It was mildly traumatic as well, and I just like felt I didn't have anybody that I could trust or talk to, and it's like losing friends and, and your support system all in one. Like, that shit really, really fucking sucks. It's like, even if you had been in love with me sitting there waiting to just shoot your shot, like, shit. Read the room. Now is not the time. If you don't want to, like, be there for me while I'm processing the grief, you're not actually a good friend. So, I like to build my relationships off of friendship so if you're not a good friend my anaconda don't want none okay we hate him we do we hate him his name's Voldemort here we go putting more of this on here my greatest regret. I also want to say I'm grateful to you for making me feel seen on your strains and mental health issues and giving me space to vent with your complaint trains. I hope you can feel that level of support from the people in your life. Aww, that's so sweet, Meg. I love Nevi's complaint trains, too. They're so fun. Nevi is super special. Hey, Poppy. Um, how you doing? Papazillion? I had the weirdest day today. Went to the zoo. It's a large iron cage. With a slice of toast and asked the zookeeper about that food, you know what they said? Uh. Nope, I do not. Know what they said? Last year, I told a female streamer she was beautiful without makeup, and she got matched because an insult to her makeup. Yeah, a lot of women do take it as an insult to their makeup. Because it's like, I just put in all this effort and now you're telling me that, like, I shouldn't have bothered? Like, man. Like, women, like, we know that, for the most part, we don't need makeup. It's about the fun and enjoyment of it. It's like the process and the art. And, like, we take pride in learning how to do it because it is difficult. That shit takes a lot of work to, like, and, like, years of experimenting and stuff to, like, know how to do, like, which colors and how things are going to blend and uh, getting the right ratios and stuff for it and doing your skin tone accordingly and finding the right products. It's a fucking lot. So when somebody's just like, Oh yeah, you look pretty, or you look better without makeup. It's just like, damn, bro. This is my craft, and you have just insulted me. I was watching some random streamer girl yesterday, and she actually said that some guys need to accept they will never find or deserve love. Whoa. And they are not entitled to sex. I was like, sure, that might be true. That sounded a bit harsh. I mean, I'm with her on they're not entitled to sex. But, like, saying that they never, will never find or deserve love? Shit, that's not helping them, like, grow into people who are good partners. Like, shit. It's not fucking helpful. I commonly, or commonly, I generally think that a lot of incels just had like really bad experiences with women in the past and it's a generalization problem it's the same type of thinking that leads to racism and stuff right which is also hella fucked up but sometimes you can sit there and actually talk to them and over time help them see that their assumptions are not uh, true. That you can't just generalize everybody. I'm not saying that people should be doing that for, for racist or anything like that. Um, I'm just saying that I do try to talk to incels about that kind of stuff. Because a lot of times it's just from a place of hurt, I think. So I try to um, talk to them about it whenever I can. When I have the spoons for it. Sometimes I don't have the spoons for it and I will 
also react with anger. But um, that doesn't help them and that doesn't help me and that doesn't help women anywhere. And incels can become really fucking dangerous. So, I don't know, I try. When people say, it's I'm not sexist but I'm not racist but, oh yeah. Right? Some people in this chat are going to give me brain damage. I have three sons, taught them never where you're not wanted. That's the issue. It's following me teaching them exactly this and reinforcing good vibes. Talk to her, talk to the brain. Exactly. If she's interested, she will tell you. Maybe not with her words as much as other signs. I'm fucking I'm this, like I'm the one who's supposed to get all this wrong. And okay, as a young man, I did, but never like that. I had to concentrate harder. I still do to pick up people's vibes. No, I got you, man. I got you. Like, it is so freaking important to try to teach that to, uh, to young men. Like, teaching everybody about consent and not to be embarrassed about vocalizing consent. Like, don't be coy about it. Like, if you want it, like, as a, a, a woman and stuff, like be vocal about it I feel like if you're not able to talk about a thing you're not ready to do a thing I can't play I can play myself on stream too it gives me an excuse to join in I have a close group I'm thankful for but I'm the type to dip for a while I get concerned with are you I get concerned are you alive messages I do the same thing you get close as well time for bed sweet dream search on Mia have a lovely night you guys thanks for hanging Nevi's in charge. Ah, oh, the power. Oh, there it is. Yes, it's just about respect. And just, like, talk to people as people. It makes it so much easier. Rather than talking to women as potential mates. Talk to them like, like humans. So far we learned that Alex's big red flags are cyclists and talking about your divorce. Wait, why is talking about your divorce... Wait, why is that a problem? I don't, I don't remember saying that. Men should be taught to view women as equals who experience the same feelings as them. Yeah, but definitely, definitely cyclists. That is, that's a hard note for me. Sorry. If you cycle on the road. <laughs> we talked about that the other day. Um, and there's no bike lane. That's the problem. If it's unsafe. Um, I just like to emphasize my allies just because they get lighter over time. Oh, nice. Exactly, Kokoria. Like, I have light hair. And so if I don't put mascara on, you can't see my eyelashes. And I have pretty freaking long eyelashes. They'll hit my glasses and shit sometimes. But, like, my leg hair, I don't remember the last time I shaved. Um, Y'all can't see it, though, because my leg hair's blonde. But yeah, it's like I want to emphasize those things. I want to like darken in my eyebrows sometimes. I have hella thick eyebrows. I have to tweeze the shit out of them, but they're also light colored. So like filling them in like a little bit darker helps. Some incels are really dangerous though. Exactly, exactly. I know that feeling wanted to dip for long periods. I hope you have acceptance with your inner circle about that. Yes, a lot of my, um, I know you're talking to Nebby, but yeah, some of my IRL friends are like really great about that. They know that just sometimes I dip for a while, and I really need that, and I appreciate that when they, they do that. Taking time to rest and focus on collecting spoons is something to be celebrated. Yes. Yes, everybody should feel comfortable to just step away for a while. It's so weird that everybody can reach each other all the time nowadays, and people, like, demand it. I hate it. I think I disagree, Benny Vitti Vici. I disagree. Like, dating or having interactions with three women where they didn't return your feelings and then going, women don't like nice guys. That's toxic and it's horseshit. And uh, it's a dumbass stereotype, right? It's not good statistics either. You would need at least 30 to be statistically significant. That is the statistically significant sample size. It's where it starts. Um, so yeah. It's just in their experience. And what's the single common factor in all those experiences? That person, right? Also, sometimes people are not gonna return your feelings. Suck it up, buttercup. Don't be a little bitch about it. You're not the only one out there like that. It doesn't mean other people are shitty. They just didn't return your feelings. 
It's okay. Go cry about it. It'll be fine. Drown a little out. Have a beer about it with your bros. Thanks for putting it that way, the makeup thing. It actually makes me understand it. Like, even though it's an honest and well-intended compliment, that makes me see it differently. Like, as a guy who's very self-conscious about his hair and spent hundreds of dollars on different products that haven't worked and gone through some awful, awful trial and error styles to get what I wanted, it actually kind of irks me when people say a bad style of mine looks fine because to me it isn't. Yes, exactly. You are so welcome, Maddie. I followed that pickup artist crap my awkward teen years. They were glamorized on TV real or reality TV shows back then. Yes, exactly. Whereas nowadays, like, women are well aware of, of the negging stuff. Like, they did a whole thing on iZombie about it. And it's like, ooh, negging, really? That's what you're doing? Mm-mm. Now it's a red flag now. I will literally do nothing. <laughs> no, it's just like, no promises. I don't agree with that. If you ask a woman if you can kiss her rather than just going for it after feeling a vibe on a date, she will view you as weak. I don't feel that way. You just generalize all women. That's part of the problem. That's totally part of the problem. I think asking for consent is hot. It's like part of the lead up into it. I'm fucking here for it. So that's just me. My hair is really dark, but my eyelashes are light for some reason. So I like to emphasize it. No, I get that. Like my sister has red hair and her red hair, like red, red, natural red hair, um, is highly pigmented, but her eyebrows and stuff and her eyelashes, she has long lashes and stuff, but they're both blonde, like white blonde. You cannot really see them until she puts on mascara. My eyebrows used to be jet black and my hair was kind of dark ginger. I missed that time. Do it again. Get it again, monarch. When I started dating my 20s, I found it was easier to be successful with dating by just learning to accept myself and talk to women with authenticity. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Like, I do the same thing in job interviews. I'll put my phone away occasionally. literally won't check for 24 hours if I really just need to check out. I do that all the time. My phone will be in my couch for long periods of time. People are like, where have you been? I'm like, busy. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> don't cry about it. Just kidding. I don't have to say that to them because they get me. My grandma was really cool about it. Grandma was just like, no, I totally get it. Like, you just got to disappear for a while sometimes. I'm like, thanks, grandma. Here we go. Getting this detailed work in. I don't know how mama talks, like, just talks the whole time while she does this. With this detailed work and paint, and like painting, I could sit here and draw detail, like sketch it with a pencil, but like this makes me nervous. Maybe it's just because it's black though, because if I go, if I mess up the black, it's hard to go over, or mess up the red with black over top of it, it's harder to fix. Therapy helped a ton. Bro, I believe it. Some, some women can be shitty about just trying to get you to pay for dinner and stuff and i tell my friends who do that shit that it's fucked up i'm like that is super wrong of you to do that to people don't treat people like that you're treating them like they're expendable and that is so fucked that is trashy um and i call them out for it i am no longer friends with a person who used to do that shit um we have a very strong difference of opinion on values there where she's just like no i think it's fine I, and or she would like just ghost these guys that she would go out with and i'm like you shouldn't be ghosting people that's cruel and she's like i don't owe them anything i'm like there's a difference between what you owe them and what they deserve like do they deserve to be treated like shit she's like well i don't owe them i'm like okay yeah well looking at it as owing somebody something versus what they deserve is the difference between like selfishness and like being a good person so like don't be a dick about it you're hurting people i hate that shit i won't even accept a drink from a guy trying to buy me a drink in a bar if i'm not interested in him like that if i'm not looking for something i'll just be like that's really sweet of you um i'm, I'm with somebody like I, I have a boyfriend I don't want to mislead you and sometimes they're like you know I appreciate that um but no uh, this is just a friendly beer 
I will still buy you a beer. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool, thanks. But I'm gonna put it out there first. You still wanna buy me a beer after I've been honest with you about it? That's cool. But I'm not gonna take advantage of somebody. Because that's how men end up bitter about it. But clearly, not all women are like that. Like, not all women are gonna do that shit. Exactly, as a woman, I disagree. I'd rather be asked than just kiss randomly. Yeah. Hello, shark girl. I'm a nice guy. Hello, no. Hey, Arian the Pastafarian. You gotta tell me you're a nice guy. It's a red flag. What's up? 30 is still a pretty small sample. Exactly. Exactly. That's the statistics rule, but like, it's still a very small sample size. That is just the bare minimum. Um, they're used to it, except it's more overwork myself. I'm gonna hustle and make my dumb dreams a reality so I don't have time to hang. Oh, yeah. Bro, I totally get that. I totally get that. I've had friends get mad before about me not having, like, that friend I'm not friends with anymore who's taking advantage of dudes. She was like, you're only streaming. And I'm like, yeah, I'm hanging out with people, like, that I have, like, it's on a schedule, okay? I am streaming. Do you want to come and hang out these other days? She's like, no, I want to hang out on this day. And I'm like, well, I can't do that. I am streaming. I will hang out with you another day. Like, what the hell? But, you know, that kind of just sorts the wheat from the chaff in those situations, right? One of my buddies actually taught me about that. I talked to him about it, and he was just like, yeah, I mean, if they're not supporting your dreams, he's like, do you really want them in your life? And I'm like, oof, that is hard. He's like, yeah, it's a hard lesson to learn, but you gotta, you gotta decide. He's like, would you do it for them? I'm like, yeah. He's like, then your values don't align because they're not gonna do it for you. I'm like, yikes, it sucks. He told me that, um, you know, cutting ties with friends like that when you're trying to follow your dreams is just a natural part of the process. Because he's a person who has followed his dreams and achieved them. So I was just like, how do you do? How do you do the thing? How do we come to terms with this? So yeah, sometimes it sucks. I've always wanted to let the lady, I've always let the lady take the lead. She wants to kiss, she'll come get it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like in Hitch, he's like, yeah, you can come like, what does he say? Like 80% of the way? Let her come the other 20. You can indicate that you're interested, but letting her make the decision is uh, the better option, typically. Hey, Mr. Hell, yeah. Most of the women I kissed in my life I've asked before, I went for it, and all of them told me they appreciated it. Yep. Exactly. We do. By the way, another red flag. If someone says they're nice rather than showing it through their actions, run as far as you can. Exactly. My words are saying I'm a nice guy. Speak louder than actions. Oh, no. Where that motherfucking grass at? Hey, killer crotch. It's dark. There's a tree. Can I interest you in a tree? The grass is down there. But it's dark. You can not see no more. I disagree that some of the pickup artist stuff is useful. Uh, I think it's actually extremely predatory. Yep. And it's targeted at insecure men that it's marketed to. Yep. Amen. I am banned from two chats today. I don't believe it. I believe it. <laughs> Vibe check? <laughs> uh, no. She helped my ex steal my cat. <laughs> That's, uh, what the friendship broke up over. She was a bad person. <laughs> I'm talking about all the things leading up to it that were perhaps signs that I could have seen coming and how she treated other people. Um, yeah. And then how she ultimately treated me. She was a duplicitous snake. Gross. What do you mean, Red Flag? You're saying nice guys are dangerous sometimes? Hence the need for do not swim? 
your skull is rotting, I know, right? I mean, I would rather cover up my embarrassment with respect than embarrass myself further with machismo. Yeah. Last summer I was at a bar after a few too many a second in a club upstairs and asked women to dance and she was like, sorry, no. And I was like, you know what? It's totally fine. Sorry if I bother you. I hope you have a good night. Hell yeah, dude. Exactly. We like that a lot better than just being humped on the dance floor. Which has happened to me at a bar. Or a club. It's a club. I was just like, what the hell? Like, this guy's not even dancing. He's just like humping my leg. Weird. My sister was just like, let's get out of here. Um... Are you telling me playing Super City for the past week has been a waste of time? Probably. <laughs> How do you indicate you're interested by staring them down? Uh, it looks like the void rather than a tree. It does look like the void. That's why I'm just like, I don't know how to show you guys this. I don't have a dog. That was somebody else's dog losing its mind earlier. If it had been my doggy, I would have gone and said, hey doggy, come here. Come hang out with Scream. Don't cry. You know? But no, it was not my dog. It was somebody else in the neighborhood walking their dog. And it came across another dog, and then it was like, No! You shall not pass! Um, yeah. I don't like grass. Too much nature for me. Fair enough, man. I totally get that. I feel like women probably respect vulnerability, too. Yes. Yes. Those are my favorite things with dudes, is when they express vulnerability. That makes me more attracted to them, and that is when I feel closest to them, and that is what I need in order to become aroused. So, there's, uh, there's that. That's just me. That's why women like to get to know dudes. If I don't know you, I'm not interested. Like, tell me your childhood trauma. What I want to know. Alright, let me, hold on a second. Yeah, women like vulnerability. It's hot. Let yourself be known. Um, can you please tell us more stories tonight? About what? I think it's a sign of great communication. Absolutely. That's crotch style of dancing, aggressive leg humping. I mean, that sounds about right. For a crotch. Hey, I'm Stelvin. How you doing tonight? Nope. That's not true of anybody. Be true. I don't know what kind of incel stuff you're listening to for like instructions on women but it is not good it's not good your intel is bad maddie is correct we like the vulnerability give it to me you're just trying to bang maybe not like maybe you can get away without doing that but if you're trying to like get a relationship that's some relationship material shit being vulnerable because women want a partner right they want somebody they can have discussions with yep i'm on the balcony today i'm still how you doing the mystery method performing magic tricks always gets the ladies they're called illusions pastafarian tricks are things that prostitutes do for money uh, whatchamacallit? Arrested Development? Who's a duplicitous snake? Solid? Liquid? Solidus? Yes, all of the above. Sick Metal Gear reference. Perform feats of strength <laughs> in 64 Expansion Pack 3. I mean, yeah, performing feats of strength, that, that's one way to do it. It's a love language. Works every time. Unfortunately, I haven't played much of that series, so I can't answer that. 
Mystery method, old school. Ew. Not to pass judgment, but it sounds like when we were younger, dominant guys were more attractive to you, but now with experience, you seek sensitive men. Um, no, actually. Mm-mm. My ex who did the negging was actually a sensitive dude. He's a very sensitive person, a sensitive Buddhist. What attracted me to him initially was uh, what I perceived as a display of kindness towards someone else. Um, yeah. He also looks very feminine. He looks like a Calvin Klein model. He's tall and really good looking but in an effeminate way. Like, he is not manly. Homie cannot take a hit. Like, my bro who does rugby and stuff was trying to get him into rugby and he, like, could not hang. And there's nothing wrong with that. So no, I, it, it wasn't dominant, guys. I was a dominant one in that relationship. In fact, which is why he was attracted to me. So, nope. <laughs> not at all. It's usually not dominant guys who do negging. It's usually the more effeminate, insecure guys. Is she apologizing how I'll pay new poppers in here? Uh, when I used to go out to bars, I'd sit in the corner and get more numbers than whatever bros are around trying to pick ticks up. People would also ask what I was doing, and we'd have a combo and bingo, number. Exactly, that's what we want. I don't like violent video games. I would sit there and read books for work on my laptop. Yes, oh my god, I love going to a bar and just reading. Great! Okay, this way first. This way. And then this way. And then this way. this way yay okay we got it on that one fuck yeah we're almost done with the detail um oof oof sounds like incel experience though stop referencing that evil Grand Theft Auto North noir game ah gob's not on board my childhood trauma, I lost at something once. I don't need to win, but I'll go to the ends of the earth to prepare. Fair enough. Whether it's true or not, for Alex, I think everybody's taste in partners mature as they get older. Yeah. I'll admit, when I was younger, I was shallow as fuck. I was interested in girls just for physical attention. Now it's much more personal personality and compatibility. Yeah. I've always liked sensitive guys. <laughs> and they were not all shitty. Girls like guys who act like Tom Holland, according to TikTok. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Does it get any better, more microcosmic than an actual hot woman telling chat what to do to get hot women and the men telling her she's wrong? Like, we're doing it right now. <laughs> right, Whiskey? Right? It's like I'm trying to help you. Stop listening to men tell you how to get women. Listen to women tell you how to get women. I mean, okay, go off, bro. Boom, boom. Why do you always reply to my stuff? I reply to everybody's stuff on here. Oh, Job! Job, sorry. As in the illusionist for rest of development. My bad. I lost the thread getting too far back, and I was like, what? Men and women shouldn't take any advice from each other. It's just two different experiences. Oof, I would completely disagree with you on that. You should take advice from a bunch of different people and then filter through that. The negging thing, though, is not going to get you a quality partner that you're going to be able to stay with. Because as they grow, they're going to get rid of you. and uh, Or you guys are just going to end up fighting a lot. And you're going to treat them like shit. And, uh, it's gonna be toxic. And that sucks. And 
And then you end up blaming that person for it instead of taking personal accountability. Which sucks even more. Unless your goal was to get somebody who has self-esteem issues. And is insecure. Which means they're also probably going to get really jealous. You're going to have some problems. But hey, you don't have to take my word for it. Alright. And then down here. TikTok gives me the shit, so I installed it because it just keeps bombarding me with the endlessly asinine. I know I could give it to show me stuff to my taste. I don't have the patience with it. Perhaps one day. I don't think so, though. That's funny. The job's no on board. Line was from the bed. The bees, beads, back and forth. Nice. My favorites are when Joe is. Uh, Joe. Job keeps taking the forget me nows. Um, and keeps roofing himself because he's forgotten that he's taken them. Because he doesn't take them close enough to the event, so the only thing that he actually forgets is having taken them. <laughs> that shit is peak comedy. Alright. That right there. And that right there. And that right there. Ha. Better. I gotta pee again. Um, I know guys at a party, and he was like the only guy there that didn't hit on this one particular girl. And she basically went up to him and thanked him for that, and that's how they started talking and updating for five years. Yeah. Yeah. We just want to be talked to like humans, man. Like we are humans. My soul, my soul hurts, right? As <laughs> for sure, girl. <laughs> Mine too. Penny's going well. I gotta pee. But we are getting it uh, going again. I believe in equal rights. Nice. I totally disagree. In fact, Alex has actually given some really great advice in here that I've taken to heart. And I recently started talking to someone. It's going really great so far. So yeah, it's totally not true. Aww. I'm glad it's helped, Maddie. I'm really excited for you. That makes me so happy, bro. Um, I talk to my guy friends about dating and stuff, sex, all of it. I'm just like, I need a guy's perspective on this. It helps. It helps. Like, I get advice from women. I get advice from men. Everybody in between. Um, it's pretty, pretty rad. It's been super helpful for me. Okay, I gotta pee. I'll be right back. I can't hold it anymore. Uh.
have Christmas lights inside too. <laughs> right? Oh man, I love that so much from uh, Arrested Development. Hello, Doctor Smile, friend. Job is amazing. <laughs> He's so ridiculous. <laughs> if you think dating, dating is a game with tricks and shortcuts and tactics, like you're playing a fucking video game, you've already lost. Yeah. Even if you succeed, no one can keep up a persona that long. Yeah, they say that nobody can be who they aren't for more than two months. <laughs> Thank you, I'm still them <laughs> for the P function. Relationships are made when the masks are off. Yes. Exactly. I just be my full self with dating. And I'm just like, I'm gonna be weird shit. Follow my natural impulses on that. If they're not into it, they're not into it. But if they are, like they know who I am from the outset, it'll be more successful. Your liver does not consent. <laughs> I don't know what but it is not concerned. Oh no. Hey Mystic Ninja, how you doing? Mama Chum Scat, how you doing? I am uh painting. Hey Green Fox! How are you doing tonight, homie? <coughs> the grass was great. Um we had a painting. Did I miss visage? No, uh, my computer is in the shop right now, so we are painting and stuff this week. We won't get it back until Friday. And the next weekend we'll be doing the shark in the bathtub stream in the, the shark costume, the left shark costume. Also, I found this alien in the trash. I don't like the background, so um, we painted it black. And uh, now we're going to do some other weird stuff to it. We kept the alien that some stranger made. Hey Lexi, how you doing tonight? I'm doing good, Helm. What you been up to? <coughs> I can't see the shark here or be a not so good girlfriend. Oh. I'm um yeah. I'm a really great girlfriend. I cook. I clean. I'm supportive of all your endeavors. I will always show up to all your hobbies, things, your improv shows, etc. I've got your back. No one's gonna talk shit to you either. I have balls the size of basketballs. You and Gucci? Nice. Tobias, though, never nude land? Oh my god. I would totally watch Tobias's never nude land. It's all of his blue man group performances. And the Fantastic Four musical. <laughs> so I find it funny, I've only dated first born girls my entire life. That is funny. I'm gonna Woodburn a sign for a garden and built for my girlfriend. Oh, I love that! Woodburning is so cool. I've not done that in a long time. It takes a lot of skill. Props, you dude. The wood burning I did was shitty. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Have a good night, Magnus. I'll see you later, Tater. Thanks for hanging. You might be an alien? All right. Nice. Uh, BRB medicine? Sounds good, Kokoya. Yep, totally art. I'm more interested in the in-depth convos about crazy shit, to be honest. Like what? It's kind of crazy shit. Yeah, there's a Fantastic Four musical. Not like a real one, it's in Arrested Development. They do like this weird knockoff musical thing. So pretty funny. Wrap, I'm a bad girlfriend, I don't cook her clean. I don't like going places, I don't care about the <laughs> clog the toilet a lot. There's nothing wrong with that, Lexi, everybody's different. Everybody's different. I just like to do lots of things. Like, I can change the oil and stuff on your car, car battery, etc. We'll change all of that for you. We'll build you furniture by hand. Um, yeah. All the things. All 
someone asks is that you don't cheat on me. God, maybe my standards are too low. Mm. Gotcha, Green Fox, gotcha. Did you my girlfriend if you found out I was an alien? I do love me some aliens. Not so down for the probing though. I did get a rectal exam recently and wow, playing X-Files was pretty hardcore. Yeah, not entirely a fan. <laughs> Find it funny, almost all the women I've ever dated have been seriously interested in have names either begin and or end with the letter A. Noise. No, Alex, it was not, not so subtle. Hint, <laughs> just because I know that seems good. No, you're good, man. I know you're good. I have the same thing with the letter A, too. Noise. Cheating isn't as good as asking your partner to join anyway. Right? Especially when your partner is pansexual. Why? Why would you not just explore that with them? With burning school and all, building the raised beds and making sure they were level was work. Ooh, I love raised beds. Yes, a sexy alien. I'm definitely down for a sexy yeti. <laughs> Ooh, yes, Lexi. <laughs> People are fine and loving this chat. Coincidence is so weird in my life. Right? I have like an inverse coincidence. I have never dated the same zodiac sign. Not once. Oh no, I just have ADD and I'm bouncy, man. That's all. That's all. I'm just over here bouncing. My bouncing baby. Shark. Do, 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 do. Fucked by once someone else doing my laundry or watching up or even cooking. I really hate other people doing the first two, especially the third in my kitchen. I like to cook or like to prepare a meal with my girlfriend. Like any girlfriend I've had or that I've really enjoyed before. But someone be, to be my mother, they don't know my mother. We all learn to do shit for ourselves when we were old and never else. You know, that is a really great point. My ex did expect me to essentially be his mom, and I didn't quite get that until talking to uh, my dude friend yesterday who knew both of us and stuff. He's like, dude, you're his mom. And I was like, fuck. Fuck. Like, I taught him to cook. I taught him how to do laundry and all that shit too. He had no life skills when I met him. But I'm like, you make a great point, Graham. I don't do commitments though. <laughs> my bar might be lower. Talk to me about everything. My partner is presuming I'm gonna have a particular reaction and this is holding back. The roots are fucked. Yeah, you've gotta be able to talk about shit, man. My ex would just like hold stuff in and I'm just like, talk to me. I cannot work this out with you if you don't talk to me. Capricorns, reach out to Shark and get a bunch of Capricorn places. Does that count? It totally counts. Totally counts. Wait, no, what's your sign? 